So I wanted to come back all put together and nice for my first video, but clearly that's not happening. So we're just going to have to roll with it. Wow, I really don't know what to do with this hair. Do you want to pick it up? No, probably not. I look like I haven't rolled out of bed in four days. Did you miss me? Hmm? No? Okay, that's fine. Completely understand. It's fine. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've been here. I feel like I don't know how to act in front of the camera again because I haven't been doing this for like, what, five months at this point? It's December. Um, yeah. So, I have a lot to update you on. A lot's happened in these past five months. I don't want to intro this too long because I actually just want to talk while I do my makeup because then I have no words for when I'm doing my makeup and then I'm sitting here in the, in silence. So, if you care to wonder um, where I've been these past few months, then just listen. Do your makeup with me if you want. Anyway, I'm going to stop introing and just start the actual video. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, I've already, like moisturize and prime my face so I'm just gonna get started with the foundation because I'm I don't want to take too long where's my mirror okay I need my little mirror so maybe <gasps> Ooh, yes okay okay I like this new setup okay oh you guys can see the mirror oh well deal with it anyway where do I I don't even know where to start oh god okay so my last video was my Selena video and I had that pre-filmed in my apartment and I moved out of that apartment and moved back in with my parents and when I moved back in with my parents uh, we had to move again we were basically just moving um, from place to place well I was basically moving from place to place because as soon as I moved in with my parents we had a month left and I had to move again and I spent a month living literally out of my suitcase because I didn't have a room and all my makeup was packed up and my camera was too so long story short I couldn't film and other stuff happened but I don't want to talk about everything so basically that's one of the reasons as to why I haven't been filming I really didn't have a place to film for a while okay I don't know if you guys can see on camera but I feel like in real life I look a little too yellow I don't know I feel like I look like a minion but maybe it's just me I want to just keep moving along like I don't want to spend too much time on one thing because then I have no more things to say like I say I think I can fill in the rest with concealer because I don't want to put too much makeup on proceeds to put on 10 layers of makeup and then after we moved into the new house I still couldn't film because I didn't know where I was gonna film in this house and anyway it took us a while to unpack like it took us a while after I did have my makeup set up I did want to start filming but you know how when you're not really in the mood to do something you don't want to do it and I didn't feel like filming and I don't want to film something that I'm not gonna enjoy or that you can clearly see that I'm not enjoying and what I'm not enjoying is this hair and once I started to feel interested in filming once again I started film school so if you follow me on Instagram I have posted a few pictures and I've been doing that since um, what month? August. So since August, I've been in that film class and I really wanted to focus on that. So in this film class, it's honestly been so much fun because I am someone who thoroughly enjoys um, movies and TV shows and I love knowing what happens behind the scenes of the movies, like how the movie gets made and everything and just learning what goes on behind the camera. We even got to make our own student films so right now we're in the editing phase and I think it's safe to say I'm gonna be stuck to the computer for a while because I'm editing a lot lately and it's a 10 minute student film but in reality editing just for 10 minutes takes forever um, I mean these videos alone take me if I don't procrastinate it takes me a good day and a half okay so I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I don't know who enjoys watching someone do their eyebrows on camera so I'll be right back and then I will continue talking unfortunately one thing that hasn't changed my eyebrows still aren't even anyway back to the video okay that doesn't help I don't know how people do that you know how they tap the the, the cap of the powder and then all the powder just goes back into it doesn't happen for me it gets everywhere I look pale but I kind of want to start my eyes first and then go into the rest of my face so let's just do that. 
So yes, so in film class, we even, like I said, we got to make our own student film. We were our own directors, producers, you name it. We were in charge of our films. And I have to edit that now, which I feel like it's going to be a pain, but I also feel like it's going to be fun because I prefer more of the behind the scenes um, stuff than actually like being in charge like directing i was mess directing i swear people think i was good but i think i was just a whole mess was it fun yeah is it for me no i'm gonna be honest i don't think directing is for me i think i'd rather be you know more of uh helping than actually leading i definitely would enjoy writing a movie more often though so i tried to space out everything that i had to say and i feel like i did a good job but now i'm back at the place where i didn't want to be and like i don't know what to say <laughs> yeah now i'm back and am i going to be consistent i have no idea i have another video planned which i want to get up before it gets too late into december because it's a holiday look i think now i have because I'm editing another video besides my student film right now. I'm editing one and it's it's a video that, um, it's bittersweet. But it definitely gets me excited to be editing again. And it's reminding me how much I just love putting something together. And that's what I want to do more often. I feel like it's reignited that spark in me. Like it reminded me as to why I even started these videos and I don't know it definitely makes me want to keep doing this I'm struggling so much to look at a mirror that's far away from me when I have one in front of me I want to do a pop of color on the bottom of my lash line but I don't know which color to use do I want to do oh I was I wanted to do blue but I think I might do purple I feel like I do a lot with purple though. Mm, no, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the blue. Um, what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh my goodness. Oh, I remember now. So yes, I have no idea whatsoever about future videos, but I definitely do want to keep doing this. I know that for sure. So this is where you guys come in. I really need your help in ideas. Like, what videos do you want to see? Like, it doesn't just have to be makeup. It can be anything, honestly. Well, maybe not anything. <laughs> oh, I think that's looking... I mean, I have to blend it, but I think that looks nice. So yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. Like, do you want to see, like... I don't know. You have to tell me. See, because I can't come up with anything. I think this was a little bit more smokier than I intended. But that's okay. I really have no idea what else to talk about. Except, no, not except. I have nothing else to talk about. Oh, that did make my forehead a bit shiny. I'm using, I got the new um, Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension palette that I'm trying out right now. And I have to say, I didn't want to buy it at first just because I thought it was going to be really small. But this is huge. Like, the pan sizes, the mirror is huge, and actually I love the mirror. Right now it seems worth it. Just by putting on this brightening powder, it's honestly brightening up. It brightened up my forehead, that's for sure. Which I didn't want it to do that much brightening, but I mean we're gonna have to go with it because it's not coming off. I will say that this palette, this um contour palette, I do like it. I messed up because I mixed two shades together, so that's not looking like the best. But the palette itself is really, really nice. And like I said, I think it's worth the price point. I don't remember the price per se, but I'm really sorry that I'm not talking much. I honestly have no idea what else to say. Okay, I was looking for my highlighter. I'm sorry. So because I, at this point, have nothing else to say and I can't pull things out of a hat and speak on different things right now, I'm going to go do what's left off the camera and I will be right back. So obviously this wasn't like one of my usual makeup tutorials um i just kind of wanted to like catch you guys up on where i've been and everything and you know just let you know that i haven't completely abandoned you i've abandoned my hair though but now i'm back and i can't wait to keep filming and yeah just keep creating that's all i want to do okay so i'm so sorry if this video was a mess which it was and my hair was a mess which it is um I feel like I'm filming my first video again because I feel like so awkward in front of the camera, but 
hey, I got over it once, I can do it again, and and hopefully it's just going to get better. So, um, thank you for sticking here if you made it to the end of the video. I'm going to leave everything in the description below, everything that I used, and yeah. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh my god, my hair. So, basically, I just had no stability. What at all? What at all? What? Why am I even talking?